Today, I want to show you how to add more fonts to your Mac. And so this is actually pretty simple and you have several options. The first thing you need to do is search for font book or just font and this app will come up. This is where all your fonts hang out. This is where you can see all the families, the different typefaces, all the different options. They're all in here, but we want to add more to what's on there. And so there's some options to do that online. So what we're going to do is go into our web browser called Safari and we're just going to type into the search Google Fonts. It brings up this fonts.google.com. If it doesn't take you there, the link is in the video description. There's all kinds of fonts on here that you can go through and view, look at different styles. It lists it by trending. You can also choose most popular, newest, or simply by the name of the font. That's helpful if you know a specific font you're looking for. If we go through here, there's a lot of different styles. Let's say we want to take this Acme one. We tap on it. We can see all kinds of different information about it. We're also going to just use this one click download the family. If you know where your font is at, you can go to that folder or a shortcut is you can tap on this download icon and use the little search window circle here to choose the file. It's a zip, which means it's all put together. We'll double tap on it to open it up. And now we have this font. You can double tap on the font. It will open up a little font preview and it gives you the option to install. You can click on that and now in our font book app, if we type Acme and spell it correctly, there's our new font. If we double tap on it, we can see a preview and it's ready to go. But there are more options besides just Google fonts. One of my favorites is called DaFont, D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. A lot of different fonts in here and these are free. Some of these aren't as complete. They're, someone making a font might demo this and put a sample on there. But what you can do here is I like to look at the recently added fonts. And if I scroll down, it says all the new fonts. I'll tap on it. And then there's a preview option. So in here, I'll type, check out my new font. And I usually add some symbols or characters like exclamation point, dollar sign, percent, and some numbers. Because I want to see what it looks like. I also want to choose a bunch. So we're just going to set this to 200 and hit submit. Now I can see a preview of all these different fonts that are new with the letters and characters. I can see that this one's not going to give me any numbers or some of those characters. They're for personal use only. You have to pay if you want to have all the other characters. So I look through this and say, you know what? I like this Fruits Delight. So I'm going to click download. Same kind of thing. Go to the folder or go on here. We'll click the search window. It's not zipped. It's the one file. Uh, and so you can, again, double tap on it, click install. And now if we search for fruit, there's that new font installed on our computer. We can see it has capitals, lowercase and numbers, and it has some of the symbols in here as well ready to go. Another font site that's also free is called fontsquirrel.com. You go through here and you look it has a lot of search options over here. Let's say I want a comic font and I want it to look hand drawn. Now that brings up these five options. So I can look through here and say, you know what? I really like this cartoonist hand. I'm going to tap on it. I can see it has a lot of different styles and at the very top is the download option. I'll tap on it again, go up here. It shows me the folder. There's all those fonts bring up that font book app. And then with this, tap on the first font, use your shift key, tap on the last one, and you can just click and drag them over. And it's a drag and drop install into your font book app. And now there's your fonts all ready to go to use and your different styles are up here. One website I didn't find out about till recently, but I really like it. It actually is probably my number two go to font website is called font share font share.com. You can go through here and look at the different fonts they have to offer. You can search, you can type in your text. And again, you can scroll through and see what those look like. You could also filter for personality. Let's say I want it to be informal for categories. I want it to be sans and for properties. I want this to be a little bit heavier weight. So I can adjust that over here. Now I can scroll through. Let's say I like this one. I can tap on it. Here's all this information. It's called Pally. Tap on that in the top left. It opens up the font itself. I can download the family. Do you agree to the license? You can check that out for more information. Download the family again, my little shortcut, click on the little icon. There's the fonts. There's a bunch in here, these three. And so what we can do is go into the font book app file, add fonts to current user, go to our Pally complete folder, select our fonts, 
click open. And now inside Fontbook, if we search for Pally, that font has now been added. And when we open up any of our applications, we'll be able to see those fonts. One quick tip I would share, if you're adding fonts to your Mac, whatever app you want to use it in, close that app out until you get your font installed and then open it just to make sure it refreshes the list of fonts you have. One little bonus site, those are all free options. If you want, sometimes the best thing I'm looking for, I need to have all the characters, need to have everything correctly. If you go to myfonts.com, this is a paid site, but it has some really good fonts. They're not all expensive. Sometimes they have some great special offers. This is also a good place for you to go and to be able to purchase fonts and install them on your Mac the same way you did the free ones. And that's how you add more fonts to your Mac. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to know more about the videos that we're doing, please subscribe to join our community. That helps me out a ton as a creator. Also, you can hit that bell for notifications and know when new content comes out. And if you want to connect with me outside of YouTube, my social media handles are on there for Instagram, Facebook, and X, formerly known as Twitter. And if you really like this video and watch more content, there are two videos on the side you can click on and watch as well. And let me know in the comments if you have a question or another video you'd like to see. The comments are where I get ideas for future videos to be able to answer your questions and more than just a text answer. In fact, this video today was a way to answer a question in a better way than just trying to type it all out. So let me know and maybe I'll answer one of your questions in a future video.